oh, hey, do you want to see me do an Amazon Fresh delivery today for Amazon Flex? It was a lot of fun, hard work, and I earned some good money. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Russ and if you're new here, please consider subscribing and that way you'll know when I come out with new content. Today I had a lot of fun doing an Amazon Flex, Amazon Fresh delivery. So those are grocery bag deliveries. And you can ride along with me briefly. I'll show you as I pick up the groceries, divide them up in the car, packaging them, and then as we make each drop off, and I'm really, really excited to share this with you because it's been kind of slow. So, oh, and don't forget, please click the like button. And when you do, I'll show you a picture of what I ate for lunch. And no, I, I don't know if you can see the McDonald's behind me. It wasn't McDonald's. It was much better. All right, let's get started. So overall, when you do Amazon Fresh deliveries, and that is either at Whole Foods or the Amazon Fresh stores, you go in and you use your app and then you start locating your groceries in the Whole Foods. You know, look at my previous video. You can see footage of me scanning each bag and then putting it in my cart. Amazon Fresh is nice because the workers there put all the groceries in bags and they put them on a big cart for you to go and uh, take them out to your car. What I recommend is I scan all the bags first from top to bottom. That way, before I start putting them in my car, I can make sure I have them all. And that's key because can you imagine if you miss one and you have to try to figure out where is it and which one? Well, just do that instead. It'll save you a lot of heartache. So I scan each bag. Then I group them based on size and I clear out my trunk. I happen to have extra food delivery bags that I put here in my front seat so that I can maximize the use of the trunk. And I'll group them all by name. Not the customer's name, but it's actually a code name on the bag. I put them all together. And you'll see in the car, it gets really full. The trunk is full, everywhere is full. It's a lot of groceries. Now the good news is a lot of them aren't that heavy. Um, but there's a lot of them. So group them by name. And then as I go to do the drop off, I'm gonna scan each one and you can either do it in the car first um, or do it at the residence or the apartment location. You just wanna make sure that the customer doesn't come out and take the bags before you've finished scanning them. So I've varied. Sometimes I'll scan them in the car and then wait to take the picture until I get to their address. Or if it's a house, I know I'm quick, so I'll wait and put all the bags at the door and then scan them and take the picture. And you can see in some of the footage as I do this. One of the great things to hear is that beeping sound as you're scanning. That's just the sound of money coming into your pocket. All right, one little pro tip. I drive around the corner or away from the place so that I can find the next one. So before my next delivery, I'm gonna find where these are in my car so that when I arrive, it's not that hard. So let's uh, let's find them. E-A-G-E, -E. all right, it's right here, good. It's uh, Kai, K-Y-E, that's the code that I need. All right, let's do it. Navigation started. All right, so I'll cut this out of this video. Then in 500 feet, turn left onto I am going to talk to my dash cam right there. That way I can always keep track of the orders that I do. And that way if something comes of it, I can go back and watch the video and I'll know exactly which app I'm delivering for and which order. So I'll cut this part out. All right, we're delivering two. Hey, good morning. Sorry, I'm just, uh, they make us uh, take pictures and all that. All right, that went pretty smoothly. Up next, we have another delivery, and I've already found the bags that are right behind me, which is kind of nice. All right, and so for the camera, we're going to deliver to... All right, so this will be an apartment delivery. And let's go ahead and say start Navigation travel. Started. Head north on street, then in 500... All right, let's go. Right
real blessing to have is that folding cart, especially if you're delivering in an area that's really congested and you're not familiar with, you know, like the bigger city. You wanna make sure that you don't leave your car unattended, um, definitely not running, and you wanna make sure that no one's gonna steal anything from your car while you're not paying attention. So I found using the cart really helps because you can pile everything in there and just make one trip instead of, you know, say five or six trips carrying two bags in your arm. That's miserable, especially to apartments. One thing that I've never been fond of um, delivering at large apartment complexes, especially in areas where there's a lot of uh, poverty and homelessness, they have a lot of security gates and you have to get inside the facility to drop off to the customer. You know, it is a little bit of a hassle to have to deal with that, but so be it, you know, work is hard and we're earning money. So that's just how it is. And you can tell that you'll really exert yourself walking around. That's called exercise and it's good for you. I always relish any time that I'm in the car and I can have the air on, like right now, it's really good. One thing that was unique that happened today is I noticed the workers did not fully seal the bag. And so I just made a point with the timestamp camera app to take a picture of that. So I have a copy and I happened to be able to tell the customer um, while I was uh, leaving when she came out with her daughter, I said, hey, the uh, workers didn't really put the sticker on. Just wanted to let you know nothing's missing. So that's good to do. You know, the other delivery didn't go smoothly, and I'll show you footage of that. Um, I parked, I'm not familiar with a lot of the apartment complexes, and by the time you're actually driving to get there, you're already on top of it and you've passed it. And in busy city streets, it's really hard to turn around. And so I ended up just parking around the corner, and I used the wagon to walk all the groceries there. Once again, I'm glad I have the wagon comes in very handy, especially when uh, I could be wrong on the address, and I really don't want to be carrying this. Shame on me, I forgot there was a, a thing of Gatorade in the trunk, and I should have really remembered that that was part of the order. Unfortunately, I didn't, and I called the customer. He did leave his phone number because the gate code wasn't working. And then I just made a second trip and I apologized. I'm very sorry about that. Oh no, do not, do not worry about it. All right, cool, have a good weekend. All right, as you can tell, that was pretty poor performance on my part. I had that subconscious thought, hey, I saw Gina, the Gatorade, and it was in my trunk. It was too late, I was already there. He was a college student, so I don't think he really cared, but I don't wanna make a habit of that. I wanna make sure that I am organized and that helps me do all the delivery and drop-offs as smoothly as possible. So if you're getting value out of this video, please click the like button. And by doing that, it sends it out to many more people and that way they can benefit from learning about this Amazon Flex delivery as well. Did you, uh, did you do it yet? All right, cool, thank you. Thank you very much, I do appreciate it. It really helps the channel. And as a reward, a small token of appreciation, here's a picture of my lunch. Yeah, that was really good. The pho is so good. And I have realized when I looked on the table, I had put several drops of that soup on there. And you know what? I'm sure several drops are on my shirt. And maybe that's how the grease has ruined a couple of them. It's from going to pho restaurants. The soup was really delicious. And if you have it in your area, you should try it, it's so good, so good. the wagon's great to you uh, come up on some stairs. It's a good workout.
Good workout. All right, I'm back in the car and that was a college dorm housing area. And it was interesting, I couldn't take a picture because it was showing the front office here as the drop off spot but the room was far down the hallway. And I looked on there, it said call support, and uh, that took a while. I saw something how it said move the map and drag the pin, that didn't work. So I just walked back to the entrance and just took a picture of the floor. But because I have the timestamp camera app and this body camera, I do have footage at the drop off. Hopefully that's not gonna come back on me. All right, now let's go do the next one, three packages. This is to my dash cam. Delivering. Thank you. Sorry, that one sticker came off the bag. Oh, the sticker came open, the, the bag came open. All right, have a good day. Hey everyone, that went relatively well. I hope you enjoyed seeing that, all the footage. And you know, it is disheartening down in this area. There's a lot of homeless and poverty, which is kind of sad. I'm really grateful that I can do Amazon Flex and the other Geek Economy apps to make some money. Today I did seven stops, 29 packages, and I drove, um, I'd say 20 miles total, and I'll probably have 15 going back. So uh, 35 miles, $48 in payments, and most people usually tip $3, so maybe we'll just say $20 in tips. That would put this uh, time at $70, and that's not bad. It's, uh, oh, actually it's $155. Um, I'll have to look up when I started, but it's pretty good money. All right, so I took this order about $11.50. So we'll just say two hours of work for $70 and even two hours of work for $50. That's pretty good money. All right, so I'm gonna go enjoy some nice lunch. They have a lot of nice faux restaurants out here. So I'm gonna take my time, enjoy that. And then on the way back, I'm gonna try to do more food delivery orders. I hope you've enjoyed today's brief ride along doing Amazon Flex. I don't get these orders often, so when I do, I really enjoy taking them. And incidentally, here in California, um, we do get the Prop 22 money, so it'll be interesting to see how much that comes out to. All right, everybody, take care. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.